Let's take a look and see how the Drawings app works for Bluebeam. I'm going to go ahead and launch my app. When I bring this up, we're going to go to a window in which we actually are able to see two different things. We're going to spend a lot of time on, on this device, so I don't want to focus there just yet. But I want to actually go over to In the Cloud. So when we move over to In the Cloud, we actually have the ability here to download any of the sets that we've been added to on Drawings. So I could simply download just by hitting that little download icon to the right there. Uh, now we're going to go back to on this device. Before we dive into each one of those sets, let's look at our settings here. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit edit and notice I can actually delete this set off my um, phone so I don't have it anymore. I can pull up the settings to the right here and then I can actually look at the download settings for both of these drawing sets. I can choose if I want to download latest version, all versions, and then ultimately download the project itself. When we get out of settings, we're now going to take a look at the actual drawing set. Notice how it says update under Bluebeam demo. This is going to be the set that we're working with. That's letting me know that there's actually been a drawing update made. When I launch this, I automatically can ha download the update. I can see what sheet was updated, what version it's going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and hit download update. It's going to run. Once it runs, I jump right into drawings. So with drawings, we can actually sort through all the drawings that we have in this set. Very easily, I can navigate through them. I also have the ability to update filters. Under filters, I can check whether or not I want to see the specific discipline. Here, let's just look at architecture. Now I'm only looking at my architectural drawings. I could search. Let's say I want to look for level of a floor plan. Pull up all the floor plans that have level in their sheet name. Very easily, I'm able to find these. I can go into a sheet. And the beauty is these sheets actually are going to be hyperlinked. So let's take a look and see how that could work. I'm going to scroll into this call out a little bit and I can click on it and automatically open up that sheet. Here again, I can zoom into this call out or this section and I can open up that sheet. So easily I'm able to navigate through my set. Okay, now we know how to navigate. Let's look how it deals with versioning. Notice there's a V3 for that A2.2.1. Let's open that sheet. I'm going to go to the upper right hand corner and click that little icon and now I can see the different versions. I can check back and forth between version 2 or 3 and see what was current versus not current. It will be superseded so it's easy for me to know and notice the red at the top says not current so I know what I'm actually looking at. Now what I want to do is I'm just going to go back to the original view and I want to show you how we could look at it from thumbnail to detail view. Under detail view, I can see all the names, the numbers, the revisions. Let me go ahead and change this filter so we can see all the drawings in this set. But again, very easily I'm able to see what I want. I can click on any of these sheets. I can swipe back and forth. So if I want to swipe to other sheets, I'm able to do that. But it's a great way to be able to access my drawings in the field very easy on my mobile device.